pan-seared steelhead trout with lemon garlic butter sauce topped with a homemade fish relish and a side of English roasted potatoes. I'm Tess and that's Din Din. <laughs> Steelhead trout is a relative of rainbow trout, and it looks a lot like salmon. It is mild in taste and will take on flavors unlike salmon that is dominant. So I thought I would make a fish relish for my steelhead trout, mostly using my garden ingredients. I have three very ripe, finely chopped tomatoes that I drained off the excess liquid. This is a relish topper, so I don't want a lot of liquid. I also have a half a cup of finely chopped, drained red bell peppers. I'm adding in two diced greens of garden onions, one tablespoon of chopped chives, a quarter cup of fresh chopped parsley, a pinch of salt and black pepper to taste, one and a half teaspoons of red wine vinegar, and this really gives a good flavor with the tomatoes. And to make it a fish relish, I'm adding in a quarter teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, and you could also use a Creole or Cajun seasoning two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice, and one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, giving it a good stir and a taste. I'm also adding in an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a pinch of cayenne pepper for a little heat. One more stir, giving it a final taste, and this will be refrigerated for one hour, and by that time our trout and potatoes will be done. The packet of steelhead trout will be two meals for my family, and I'm cooking four fillets tonight. Just dabbing the fillets with a paper towel to remove the moisture, and then seasoning both sides with a little kosher salt and white pepper. You can remove the skin if you wish. I have my pan on medium heat, and that is around a 7 to an 8 on my electric stove. I'm adding in a good drizzle of olive oil, and I'm placing in my fish skin side down. I'm letting that cook untouched for a couple minutes, and you will see the meat start to change color around the bottom edges. Giving the trout a flip and cooking for an additional two to three minutes, and this will depend on how thick the fish fillets are. Once done, I'm removing the trout and setting to the side. I turned my heat down to a medium, which is around a six, and I left a couple tablespoons of oil in the pan. I'm adding in five cloves of minced garlic, cooking and stirring for about 30 seconds or until you get a good smell of garlic in the kitchen. Be careful not to burn the garlic. This is the juice of two lemons. Stirring and letting that cook for about 30 seconds to a minute to reduce slightly. You could also add some lemon zest for a little punch. Seasoning with a little salt and turning off my heat. Now I'm adding in three to four tablespoons of cold unsalted butter. I'm stirring in the butter until incorporated, and this is going to make a nice, creamy, buttery sauce. Placing my steelhead trout pieces back into the pan and giving them a thorough coating with that delicious sauce we just made. The English roasted potatoes are done, and we are ready to eat. I will be posting a video recipe soon for the potatoes. They are fluffy inside with a crispy coating. The steelhead trout turned out delicious. Don't forget to spoon over some of that yummy lemon garlic butter sauce and our homemade fish relish. The trout is nice and tender and flaky. The fish relish adds a nice freshness and brightness to the trout. I hope you give my recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button to receive my future recipes. Please feel free to share my channel with your friends and family. It really helps my channel grow and it is greatly appreciated. And until next time, much love.